Hi folks, St. Paul Steam here with my little Walesco D3. I've got most of the modifications done to it that I wanted to. Uh, first off, we pulled the center flue out of the boiler, which gave it a lot more capacity. We installed an immersion rod heater into the base, and we have a voltage regulator right here to control the power now. Uh, so it has a lot more capacity for a longer run time. I've got several 40 minute runs out of it, and that seems to be about right. Um, we put a brass plug in the, the base and then there's one in the top to hold this cap in place now. We've obviously got a pressure gauge on it now. I added a port right here. We put a uh, valve in the steam line right there. I've got an oil cup put into the steam chest and on both sides of the flywheel we now have rollerball bearings installed. Hard to capture that one, I would imagine. Uh, and then I also made a custom little end cap here with a set screw so I can keep the position of the flywheel uh, centered with the throw of the crank. That's that's very important. Let's see if I can get this. So it keeps that uh, connecting rod centered real well. Um, show a quick picture of the bottom. We've got it all buttoned up good. And uh, now let's get it get it going. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. I found out with the experience these threw out quite an impressive stream of water from that exhaust port when you first start them up. Uh, until that big lug of a brass cylinder gets warmed up, it makes a heck of a mess. So I spared you that. Right now we are running on right about 2 PSI, and that's about as low as she goes, maybe a little less, but uh, that's pretty good. Like I said, we have a valve here. This valve was made from a steam whistle from Walesco. I haven't driven anything with it yet, but I think it's got a little bit of a power. We have a nice 110 volt. It says 250 watts actually. This pushes a little more than that. It uh, definitely needs a voltage reducer. It's got a small immersion rod heater in it, but it's powerful. More than, more than this boiler needs. I did a lot of work to make this one run good. A lot of the uh, alignments and everything for the cylinder bore to the steam chest were they were misaligned, so I had to take care of that. I call it tuning. And here's our voltage regulator. I need to show you that it works. Just fine. Let's crank it up. Right now we are at 49 watts. And it's pretty sensitive. There's 120. This is a solid lug, a solid brass lug, and uh, I'll drill two pins in it for this cap so it stays put. Let's see where we get the pressure up there. That's 323 watts right now. And we'll utilize the uh, Steam valve. It's easier, easier to adjust it with the uh, voltage regulator and steam valve, but this is a pretty good working valve. It's 
turn that back in. And let's turn this out now. Anyway, thanks for looking, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, I appreciate it. Well, let's go D3 with a, a host of modifications done to it. Bye now.